Hello Maya students. Uh, this is a tutorial video on how to organize your project folder, how to set it up and how to use it. A project folder is a collection of folders of, and files of different types with specific places for each piece of your project. Um, the project folder in Maya is very very important to understand. The use of the project folder should not be considered optional. Um, you really need to be using an active project folder at all times to be using Maya correctly. So it's very important that you understand what's happening with your project folder and also how to set it up. Um, so I'm going to start with starting a fresh project. And what we're going to do is start a brand new project. So I've just started assignment one, for example, um, <clears throat> and I'm just about to crack it open for the first time. This is what you do. Um, we're going to create a new project folder using the project folder window and we want to start by clicking file new scene. This is just to clear anything out. Um, if you just launched Maya, um, obviously you don't need to do this. It's there because you're um, a newbie and it's just there for healthy paranoia. So. That's what step one is about there. Don't save, or I don't know, if you got a masterpiece open, you might want to save it, but we don't really need to save that. So <clears throat> what I want to do is set my project for the first time. I'm going to click File, Project Window, and the project window that comes up is going to show um, what the current project is. Right now it says default and the current location. So I'm going to start a new project and it's going to be my tuid. I'd like everybody to use this naming convention. My tuid underscore project one um, or assignment one. You get the idea. Um, what's going to happen now is this field that says current project this is going to become the name of my root folder. I'll explain what that root folder is in just a minute, but it's an important folder. So I'll have a folder created in this location right here called this. So it'll look like this when it's done. Okay, now <clears throat> if you're just saving into your documents folder, It'll go under, by default, Maya Projects, your name, um, which is not necessarily a bad thing. If you want to save somewhere else, you want to click on this little yellow folder. I think more often than not, you're probably going to be clicking on that yellow folder. And this is a weird thing about Macs when you're using Maya on a Mac. You have to type the word slash volumes slash to get to your other hard drives. PC users do not have to do this. PC users will see their hard drives under computer, but Mac users will not. And it's been that way as long as I can remember. I don't know why. Um, that's just the way it is. That's just the way Maya is right now. So when you type slash volume slash, you will see your list of hard drives. And I'm going to click on, just for an example, this is my external hard drive called production. Okay, now here's my list of folders. I'm going to go into Arts 235. And this folder that I'm selecting right now is this Arts 235. This is the folder that will contain my root folder. When I click Select, I'm not specifying my root folder yet. I'm specifying its container. So I'm going to click Select. And again, what's going to happen when this project folder is created it's going to create a subfolder called whatever this field is in this location. So it'll, it'll look like that when we're done. Okay, so <clears throat> I want you to always leave all the rest of these at their defaults. Don't change any of these and just click accept. Okay, now what just happened is that a number of folders were just created and let's take a look at those. Um, I'm going to go to Finder now and here's my production drive Arts 235 and here's Project 1. Okay so 
all these folders were just created when I clicked that accept button. When you are continuing to work on a previously defined project, you need only to click File, Set Project. Please do not create a new project folder every time you open Maya. You create that new project folder only when you're starting a fresh project. By and large, you're going to click File, Set Project. So navigate to your project folder and click Set. Again, if you are navigating to an external drive, you will have to do that slash volume slash thing. I'm going to select the one I created. Well, I'll select Project 2. There we go. And I'll click Set. Um, now when I click Open Scene, I will be instantly taken to the correct folder in the project folder that I just set, which is Scenes. Sometimes Maya can hiccup and send you to a different place, um, which thankfully we have the sidebar nav right here. And this is something I recommend using because it's very, very helpful uh, in keeping you on track. You can very easily navigate outside of your root folder without knowing it um, if you don't use this. So if you are not a computer wizard, just make sure that you know where you're saving your stuff you set the project folder and then after that you can just use this to navigate your project folder. Now you will have to copy some stuff in there manually from time to time so be ready for that um, but again I'll walk you through it. The root directory this thing that says workspace root that's called the root directory um, that is the top level folder that's associated with your project so it's like the edge of the known universe for your project. Everything that is associated with your project should be ultimately inside this folder. Um, and it has, as you can see, a series of subfolders, uh, which divides your work into various categories, which we will be interested in a few of these, um, namely source images, images, scenes, movies and kind of autosave. Um, you should never save files to or open files from anywhere on your computer outside of your root folder. If you do need to fo open a file from somewhere other than your current project folder, such as a um, fair use texture image that you downloaded from the internet, you will have to copy it to the appropriate subfolder, which would be source images in your project folder first, and then open it. Subfolders are used to manage the project files. Let's go there in the operating system. Here's project two, that's the one we were looking at. Um, the autosave, that is where Maya will store the automatically saved files that it creates. This is without you pressing Command S. It does this every particular time interval um, as set in the preferences. So it can be an autosave every 10 minutes if you want, or every hour, or every minute. This has saved a few students' butts who accidentally saved their scenes somewhere in the wrong place. Um, but they had the project folder set, and I can open their autosave. Sometimes that is a possibility, depending on how things panned out, or sometimes it's not. So if you had your project folder set and you had your autosave turned on, then it'll be there. Um, images, this is an output folder. In other words, this is for rendered images. Movies is also an output folder. This is for rendered animations. Scenes, that's where your scene files go. That's the Maya binary and Maya ASCII files. And try to stay in the habit of saving in the Maya ASCII format, the .ma format. I find it's more portable um, and it seems to be more stable than the bin binary uh, format. And finally, that takes us to source images. This is where all of the images that are linked to your project go. So um, this is an input folder. Uh, your texture images, as well as your any reference, um, any sketches, those all need to be in this folder. Um, 
they don't all come into play right away, but those are the folders that we will be interested in for this semester. If you need to move your files to a different machine, or if you're going to submit your project, you need to include the entire folder with its subfolder structure unchanged like this. If I want to take project 2 and copy it to let's pretend that I've got a flash drive over here this is exactly how I want to do it. Take the whole project. Don't go into the project folder and grab all of these or a portion of these and do not under any circumstances navigate into a scenes folder and double click on an MA or an MB file to open that scene. That can cause you problems. The reason for all of this is because your project has linkages and those links are created relatively and it's all relative to where your project is. Moving this stuff can break those links. If you've taken Arts 173 this is a similar concept to your site root structure.